Yo guys, what's up? It's Friday the 15th of July and I've ended up bolting this metal weight on to the blade that required some weight adding to it and welding a nut on the end. Uh, I trimmed a bit too much off this bolt, that's why I had to weld something on the end. Uh, this is a bit skew with but it'll be fine. Uh, that's all good. I uh, need to sort something out with this before it goes back on. The motor's ready to go. I mean, that's about as good as I can get it. I did cheat and drill 5.5mm holes rather than 5mm to give myself a tiny little bit of wiggle room before I bolted it down. It looks okay. There's only a certain degree of accuracy you can have doing stuff yourself. I mean, that looks as though it's a tiny bit more over that side, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Just showing you the other disc for size comparison. That one's a 26, that one's a 20. I may, if this works, I may end up going with an 18 tooth sprocket because I thought as it has to be divided into six, it would be handy if you had 18 uh, because then you'd just have to put three lines and you'd be starting at one point and finishing at the other end of that. If, sorry, if that makes sense, you'd go from one side right to the other and then you could, you could mark it out more easily. So yeah, an 18 is an option. We'll see how we go with this 20 tooth and we'll have to take it from there. There's a good view of the bolts connecting the drive gear and you can see how little space we've got. It's not lined up properly yet. Sweet. Just on a side issue, the e-bike hub motor bolts, the bolts you'd use to uh, connect it to your bike. The other one is there somewhere. They're, they're not really tightened up to the max. It's more about tightening up these bolts in this thing, front and back. Let me check if you've got it. It's all about tightening these bolts here properly and then just give it a little nip. Sweet. This was the chain that we were using and you can see it's got an extremely, let me zoom in a sec. There, that is super bogus. Luckily, I got this reserve chain and uh, it fits perfectly. So I'm just gonna put that on. So the sun is setting and this will be going up tonight. Uh, the wiring's got to go there. Cable off the uh, electric motor. Uh, <clears throat> I That's still got loads of slack on it, but it's a lot less than it was and it feels relatively smooth to turn, look. Even though it's at that higher gear, I reckon the big blades are gonna bring home the juice. The motor said, no, I'm not going around. Ah, this, this black bit of tape is on there deliberately to help us in case we reach warp speed, which hopefully we will. I mean, that's quite impressive really that that's going around that much when it's got to turn the motor. I know it's not under load. It wouldn't turn it under load. You can notice how fast, the, how much faster the motor's spinning. Look, ready? Let's go. Whoa, it's gonna hit something, it's gonna hit something. So yeah, you can clearly see the motor traveling faster than the blades, which is pretty cool. See this bit where, sorry, it's getting a bit dark. That's how I ended up balancing the blades. In the end, let's come around that side for a bizzle. Uh, probably gonna take these tails off, but my shoulders be maximized doing this. Uh, there's the, oops, sorry. There's the view to the new gear that I put on. There's the bearings. And yeah, I'm feeling quite good about it really. So I've got to do this and uh, stick it up in the air before it gets dark. Sweet. And she is ready to go. Look how big those blades look. Look how big those blades look. We're running out of light, as you can see, but she is ready to go. And as I said, I would like to take this off, uh, but my shoulders don't have the minerals. This hasn't been done yet, the thing for the tail. So that's clamped on, the wire's all sorted. Chain's looking pretty good, does have some slack because it always seems to run slack. This in a way looks kind of cool, don't it? With a little brown kind of rust oleum finish. And there's the tail and that is ready to go. Of course, this still needs finishing off, but that involves moving a lot of weight. So I'm not up for that right in a minute. Halfway up, just a little check. We're all good. Nothing unusual. She is a beauty, my friend, she is a beauty. She is a beauty. 
Not many, and onwards and upwards into the sky we go. And that's it, she's ready to go. I don't know if there's enough wind. There's not enough wind to make any power at the minute, but. Oh, that is great to see that turning and the motor moving, look. Not sure as hell I'm gonna be making any power at that speed, but yes, the new gear is on and touch wood, the blade should run better and I shall report back to you. We're away in wind on Tuesday, only 15 to 18 mile an hour, but that should be enough to set everything up, uh, to get everything tested properly. So thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you soon.